Hello and welcome to another Doctor Who video. In today's Doctor Who video, I'll be discussing the new B&M sets, what have just been announced. Um, so if you know me, I love the Doctor Who figures. You know, I absolutely adore them. Uh, they're probably my favourite Doctor Who bits of merchandise to collect. You know, out of all the things I get, the figures are my favourite. They are literally the heart of my collection. You know, they are my childhood. Um, so I get incredibly excited when new figures are announced and I still get the same excitement what I did when I first started getting the figures and I still have that same excitement today when I see new figures uh, being released and yesterday was no exception yesterday we saw the reveal of the new B&M sets now normally in July sort of August time character options and B&M partner up to uh, give us some Doctor Who figures now often uh, B&M, they often do re-release figures, you know, with different paint apps, you know, subtle variants um, and the occasional figure, what people have been wanting, what are quite sought after. So last year it was the uh, Tomb of the Cybermen controller. Um, but this year is very different. I've got to say, B&M and character options have knocked this one out of the park. I am just in utter shock seeing these figure sets because for B&M to do these and character options to do this is just incredible and I think that this is the first year where every Doctor Who figure collector says yes I'm gonna get all of these you know I think that each one of these sets is a real standout and I've got to be honest this year I don't think there's a dud set I think each set has something incredible to look forward to and when I first saw these sets on the internet I thought these were fake I honestly thought these were fan made I thought no this is this is this is too big for B&M to do, um, but thankfully I was proven wrong, and here we are. We have four exciting sets, what are just incredibly exciting, if you can't tell by my voice. I'm just oh, super excited. So the way this video is going to work, I'm going to talk about each set and sort of look at how this set is going to be made, in the sense of what figures, character options have used to create this figure. Um, so if we start off with the big, big, big one, which is the third Doctor and TARDIS. Now, if you know your figures, you'll know the classic TARDIS. The TARDISes are extremely hard to get. They go for silly money on eBay, um, and they're just incredibly hard to track down, especially the fourth Doctor TARDIS. Now, this TARDIS is basically using the fourth Doctor TARDIS sculpt, but using the third Doctor paint apps. Um, now, this has obviously caused a lot of um, controversy because obviously the TARDIS has a black base, um, which the TARDIS didn't have in that in the uh, Time Monster because this set is supposedly based off the Time Monster, which I'll get onto later. Because in season nine, the TARDIS was completely repainted for season nine. Um, because if you look at you know stories like the Claws of Axos, the TARDIS was battered, you know it was bruised, it was falling apart. So in Season 9, the TARDIS got a new lick of paint, and it was this vibrant blue. And I will say, looking at the picture, uh, the TARDIS is just a little bit too bright. I think if it's just a little bit um, darker, it would, have been, it would be pretty close to the TARDIS. Now, the problem is having this such a bright TARDIS and then having a black base, it's really going to make the TARDIS stand out in all the wrong reasons. Now, the black base is interesting, because in Spearhead from Space, the TARDIS is mounted on a plinth, on a black base, well on a black plinth I should say. So where the character option to thought, oh, we use that for to make it look a bit different, but obviously that's completely wrong, um, unless character options have used the reference material from the Time Monster and it's, there's a shadow on the TARDIS base and they assumed it was uh, black. Um, so that's a bit of a disappointing thing, but nevertheless it's a classic TARDIS and it's exciting. And I will say, I do like the weathering detail, and I think that looks really nice. And it is going to be non-electronic, which may be a problem for some people. But to be honest, it swings and roundabouts, because either, you know, having the electronics will increase the price. So not having the electronics makes it stick to the B&M regulations, but it's cheap and cheerful. Um, in the sense that if, you know, we're talking, you know, the B&M sets are normally £16 for three figures. That's a bargain for five inch figures. Um, so that's great. Um, so I predict that this set is going to cost roughly, I think the original retail price, what I paid for the classic TARDISes was um, 35 quid. Um, so I presume this TARDIS is going to be worth, you know, 25 uh, to 30 quid. That's my rough estimate. So the third Doctor 
this is where it gets interesting, you know, I'm not as picky on the TARDIS, but when it comes to the third Doctor, I know the third Doctor's wrong, I will kick and scream and kick off. So the third Doctor is supposedly based on the Time Monster, and the costume does suggest that, but the thing what lets this figure down from the second image what was released, he has a cravat. Now if you know the Time Monster and you know your third Doctor costumes like me, you'll know the third Doctor didn't wear a cravat in the Time Monster, he was, you know, he had an open collar. He didn't have any necktie or bow tie or whatever. He just simply had the open collar. Now, what character options have done have just used the standard fur doctor body from the Sea Devils and just painted it the Time Monster colour scheme and painted the cravat white, which just really sticks out like a sore thumb for me. And the, and the thing is, the original image what character options released of these sets with the fur doctor and his TARDIS Obviously the TARDIS is a lot darker, and um, the third Doctor was correct, I'll put a photo on the screen now as you can see, the third Doctor figure is supporting the uh, open collar shirt from the fourth Doctor Regeneration figure. So what interests me is why haven't Count Grobson stuck with that, because obviously that is the lot more accurate third Doctor, and they can get more mo more use out of that sculpt of the fourth Doctor Regeneration figure because that's only been released what twice in the time capsule and the general you know singular release so it'd be more cost effective for character options to get their money's worth out of that sh uh, shirt piece sculpt um, so I would have liked to have seen that that's my main nitpick personally um, hopefully that is rectified but obviously uh, if you've seen my custom unboxing of the Planet of the Spiders Regeneration third Doctor You'll know that the third Doctor head is a plug, um, no sorry, is a peg, um, and obviously the fourth Doctor head um, is a plug, so yeah, that's probably one of the reasons why they haven't done it, because obviously the third Doctor's torso probably isn't compatible um, with the shirt piece, um, so yeah, I would have personally liked to have seen the open collar thing, but still, that is the set I'm most excited about, because I love, I love getting TARDISes and the third Doctor. Yeah, I hope they rectify the third Doctor, but nevertheless, I am really excited. That's probably the one I'm most so excited So moving on to, get. to the second B&M set, which is marketed as the 1970s, containing the Brigadier from Season 7, and I guess Invasion, because I don't think his costume changed um, between the Invasion and Spearhead and Space, so I'm just going to say, because it's for 1970s set, just say it's Season 7 Brigadier. Then we've got the fourth Doctor from the Talons of Wang Chiang, and we've got an Auton from uh, Terror of the Autons. Now, now the Auton is probably the most cheapest figure uh, because it's just a simple repaint and the others have had a bit of work done to them. So the Auton I believe is one before it got in the disguise um, in the big head landing out of the daffodil so I think that this is just the standard Auton drone before he got into uh, the disguise. Um, hopefully he will come with his other hand so you can sort of plug in the standard hand and then you've got the gun arm that would be quite nice to have. Uh, as well, but yeah, I'm not complaining about the Auton because hey, army building, it's all good. And the Brigadier uses the same body as the Auton, so it uses the Series 1 Captain Jack figure. Now, obviously, this is a bit inaccurate because obviously the Brigadier didn't wear a neck cravat, he wore um, a shirt and tie. Um, so they could have tooled that a bit, but obviously, BM sets they want to keep the cost down, so I'm absolutely fine with that, I can live with that. Um, and it obviously uses the Claws of Axos Brigadier head. Now the fourth Doctor is probably the main figure what stands out in this set because I must congratulate character options and B&M because they could have just done the Planet of Evil fourth Doctor. They could have got the standard season 12 Tom Baker, removed the shirt piece and put on the shirt piece from uh, the Pyramids of Mars, sort of Seeds of Doom Tom Baker um, with the cravat and the sort of checkered waistcoat. They could have done that, bish bash bosh, done. But I've just got to congratulate them for going through all the effort of giving us the talents of Wen Chiang, Sherlock Holmes detective fourth Doctor, because I'll be honest, I never thought I would see this figure. So it's incredibly exciting to see this. And the base figure for this is a third Doctor. And I'm guessing from the original image what was released, it is based off a third Doctor uh, from the 11 Doctor set because he's got the high boots and the original image he had the cravat and they tried to paint that gray to sort of mimic a waistcoat. But the initial image, now he's just got a proper shirt, tie and waistcoat. Um, but the base figure is a third Doctor because they've tried to paint his boots um, grey to sort of mimic trousers and sort of, uh, sort of give that illusion. And I don't think the fourth Doctor wore um, boots in the Talons of Wen Chiang. I just think he had his standard you know, trousers and shoes. And the only real difference was the top half of his costume. 
Um, and what's quite nice as well, obviously it's completely inaccurate, the arms, the arms, you've still got the frilly shirt there, um, and character options have tried to um, cover it over by painting it the same colour as the jacket. Um, the waistcoat, now the, the shirt piece, the waistcoat and tie, um, is very interesting because I believe that this is a new sculpt, because originally I thought it was the impossible um, set 11th Doctor shirt piece, but no, it looks completely brand new, so that's quite nice. Um, so yeah, hats off the character options and obviously the, uh, the cloak uh, is painted in the talons of Wang Chiang uh, colour scheme. So yeah, very nice, very happy with that set, so I look forward to getting that one because it just looks incredibly exciting. Uh, so moving on to the new series sets. Now the 11th Doctor set, I'm going to be honest, is probably the weakest out of the bunch. Not because the 11th Doctor and Amy are bad, it's Oswin. Now Oswin's probably the worst figure in there because there's not been much done to that figure it's just a simple uh, darker red and the paint apps don't look that good to be honest um, so hopefully that will be rectified when it's released so yeah Oswin probably the worst figure out of the whole wave um, for me personally um, so we've got Amy from series 6 so it's nice to have another variant of Amy from uh, the God Complex I believe so yeah that looks a very nice figure and we've got the 11th Doctor uh, from the Snowmen uh, which is quite nice, I do prefer this version of the 11th Doctor because he's got a nice, they've made the jacket a lot darker so I think that's a bit more screen accurate so it's not going to be as garish and it'll be quite nice to have because if you've got the time of the Doctor set and like me uh, and the Impossible set, I put the old 11th Doctor head on the Impossible set body to get the sort of old frail 11th Doctor so it'll be quite nice to have um, a young 11th Doctor there so yeah, very nice, I do like that set and now the 12th Doctor set, now this is another big surprise for me, this was another what jaw-dropping moment. Uh, so this set contains Missy from Extremis, uh, the 12th Doctor from uh, Hellbent, the end of Hellbent, you know, don't say face a raven or whatever, because he doesn't have his waist cut. Then we've got Bill from the pilot, so we've got Missy using the Season 9, well Series 9 uh, body with the shirt piece repainted to match the one seen in Series 10. Um, the 12th Doctor, now the 12th Doctor is the standard um, white shirt one with the red velvet and I'm incredibly excited for this because I just love the red velvet jacket and it just suits Capaldi well so we've got the new Series 9 head which is lovely but obviously the elephant in the room is he doesn't have his waistcoat, where is his waistcoat gone? Please character options before you release this give him a waistcoat because I would love th this to be the definitive 12th Doctor figure because to me the 12th Doctor is a smart, suave doctor, you know, he's got a shirt, waistcoat, his crombie coat and his Doc Martens and his trousers. You know, none of this hoodie lark. For me, the 12th Doctor has his, you know, waistcoat and shirt. You know, I don't see the 12th Doctor in a hoodie. To me, you know, this is the definitive 12th Doctor look with the white shirt, the waistcoat and whatever jacket he chooses. Um, so yeah, incredibly happy to have that. Hopefully he does get his waistcoat, but like I said, B&M want to keep it on the cheap, so I presume that this is probably the final figure uh, the final product really and we have Bill now this is going to be the first Bill figure released obviously Amazon listed a Bill uh, figure back in February and I believe that is going to be the one Pearl Mackey uh, posted on Instagram uh, so the smile variant so this figure is based from the pilot um, and it uses the Abbey Maitland legs um, which is you know I'm fine with character options you know using old parts of figures to create new figures because you can't really complain at that. So yeah, Bill looks incredibly nice. I will say that the head is very big. It does look a bit out of proportion to her body, but I'm not complaining. It's I think that it's incredibly exciting that we're actually technically getting a brand new figure in the B&M line. This is probably the most brand new figure out of the lot, and I'm incredibly excited for it. So yeah, definitely a worthy bunch of figures and probably the most exciting range B&M have done ever since doing the Doctor figure line. So there are my thoughts on the B&M sets. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. And I'm incredibly excited to get these. You know, as soon as they're released, I am gonna try and get them and I will review them. Because So there are my thoughts on the B&M sets for 2018. I hope you have enjoyed it. I'm incredibly excited for this. I hope you are excited for them too, because like me, if you're a massive figure fan, this is utter joy and delight to know that we're getting more five inch figures, so yeah. Absolutely brilliant. I believe that these are going to be released late summer, but normally we're talking end of July, start of August. So 
that's when they'll be unless they're going to be out sort of end of August but normally it is um, the end of July sort of around sort of August time really so there we go those are my thoughts I'm incredibly excited for those so comment down below which set you're you're looking forward to getting um, for me it's the third doctor and TARDIS because it's the third doctor and I love him and I love getting TARDIS figures because they're just great um, but yeah the 12th doctor one's a real standout on the fourth doctor one but like I said the 11th doctor one does let it down slightly with Oswin but nevertheless I'm really excited to get all of these sets so thank you very much for watching this video hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video whatever that'll be so thank you very much and bye bye